We're here at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms about to take the next step in the setup of our simple inexpensive reef tank for newbies, the Nano Lagoon. We've gotten the tank home, we've painted the back with a nice blue background, we've done the leak check, and now we're going to put in the sand bed. Now for those of you doing this at home, you will have selected an appropriate place to put your Nano Lagoon tank on an aquarium stand or a tabletop or maybe a, a countertop, for example, in the kitchen, which is a great place to put one of these because a lot of traffic and people can look at the tank as they walk by. We have it set up on a table outside of the farm where we like to eat lunch. We have a five pound bag of aragonite. This is crushed Hawaiian coral and it's taken from a, a dredge site and crushed. No living corals were harmed in producing this sand. And it is kind of a coarse grain, which is what we prefer. It's about the consistency of grape nuts. If you are familiar with that cereal, uh, the grains themselves are about an eighth of an inch or a few millimeters in diameter, fairly coarse. And there's a reason for that, but it is 100% aragonite and for this 10 pound excuse me for this 10 gallon tank we're going to use 5 pounds of sand. Now we're putting in the sand just like that and we're going to reach in with our hand and smooth the sand into an even layer all over the bottom of that 10 gallon glass aquarium. And this is very simple. Now I can imagine some of you are saying, wait a minute, that's a shallow sand bed. In fact, it only appears to be about half an inch deep. That's exactly right. That's what we're striving for. Many of you would be saying, well, we want a deep sand bed because we've read on the internet or the guy at the pet store told us that we need a deep sand bed, two inches, four inches, even six inches deep. This is Gerald from Indo-Pacific Sea Farms and I'm here to tell you that a shallow sand bed is superior for many, many reasons. I'll give you a few. First of all, you want your sand bed to be aerobic. You don't want areas of the sand bed to get anoxic or anaerobic as typically happens with deep sand beds because when you get those anoxic anaerobic areas, you see black deposits forming and what's going on here is that you've got production of hydrogen sulfide gas, H2S, that combines with seawater to produce sulfuric acid, which is not something desirable, especially in a closed aquarium system. The shallow sand bed has ample space and habitat for the reef-dwelling invertebrates that you want to inhabit the sand, the beneficial invertebrates like the worms and the amphipods and the mini stars and so forth. So anyone who says that a, a deep sand bed is necessary for those organisms uh, is, is wrong in our opinion. Now, why would somebody advise a six inch deep sand bed? Well, think back to the last time you read the back of a bottle of shampoo. What does it say? It says lather, rinse, repeat. And that simple phrase was dreamed up by a marketing genius who said, hey, if we can convince people to use twice as much as they need, we're going to sell twice as much shampoo as we otherwise would. Now, imagine that logic applied to the aquarium trade where somebody says, all right, put in a half inch deep sand bed now add 12 times as much as you really need. Who benefits from that? Well, the guy who sells the sand bed, of course, but you don't. And that's our bottom line opinion on depth of sand bed. Half an inch, keep it aerobic. You don't need a deep sand bed. Now, we've taken an important step this morning toward the completion of our 10 gallon nano lagoon. And the next step will be formation of the reef itself. 